Hi, this is Steve Fortner from Keyword Magazine. I'm here with Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo, who is releasing their first new studio album in 20 years. We uh, just saw your amazing performances at Coachella and mm. on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Uh, Mark has been gracious enough to invite us into Mutato Musica. They are at Devo's headquarters and recording facility on Sunset Boulevard, where there is quite an impressive collection of vintage gear, which Mark's going to tell us okay. a little bit about some of his favorite pieces. Right. Um, you, know, you know, the one caveat I'm going to give you is that we did empty out the basement and put it all in storage so that Devo could rehearse. But there are some things here. Like, here's a nice carillon that, uh, that is like half uh, tubes and half um, real, you know, real chimes in there. So it's a nice, you can always feel like it's Christmas or there's somebody at the door when you're in Mutata. Just come over here. Cool. You know these. Oh, wow. This is, this is, this is the AKS old, with the touch plate. Keyboard. Yeah, that's like an old Brian Eno synth. Um, I think this is, to me, is known as the um, Life Aquatic synth because I use this for almost every uh, all the cues in uh, uh, that Wes Anderson movie. Um, but it also got used on the new Devo record. We, we did a couple songs where we used this little sequencer up here. Oh yeah, this has got the mini sequencer in it. This is uh, Memory Moog. My memory of it is I, I was calling Bob every week when he first announced he was going to uh, put out a, a theremin. And so I, every week, I, I said, I'm buying the first one. So I sent him the money right away and he said, okay, you can have the first one. And um, Every week I'd say, do you have it done yet? And he'd go, no. And after about a year, he just sent this to me. <laughs> he said, I'll call you when, it, when, it, when it's finished. An old, probably 70s mini um, that gets used on stage with Devo. Uh, I had to get the, uh, the people at Moog to, to do a, a mod for me because it doesn't have reverse sawtooth. And I use the sawtooth both forward and reverse for Smart Patrol. This is the room I mostly work in, so that I didn't have to have an uh, engineer full time. I went back to an old SSL that was kind of like from the, the, the salad days of Devo, the good days of Devo. Is like, um, so I usually just sit over here, and Logic is my, my weapon of choice these days. There's probably about 70 some guitars in this building. Uh, the piano, of course, is like minified, so that's so nice. So it's a disc clavier piano, huh? Yeah, so that helps. It can be one of the old Moog school models. Those are this great. Is the Sonic aren't they? Six. These were designed for teaching, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a gorgeous synth there. Oh, wow. Have you gotten to record with that at all? Oh yeah, yeah. I've recorded with everything here in the building. We it's use a really it nice action too. I love this one. It's got a little speaker in it. You know, you can like. Take it to a hotel room with you when you're on tour. And this is a dulcetone, an English thing that was super cheap. At the, but but it's sometimes it's just the right sound for a movie because like um, we heard these in Rugrats too. I would imagine. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, probably Pee Wee. I started. <laughs> this is not really a circuit bent instrument. What it is is. It's great, though. I use this on, on the Devo record, um, and what's great about it, it's just an oscillator in here that this row you tune here, this row here, so they're like yep. note pickers, so it's like an alternative keyboard. Yeah, this is just a little Yamaha drum pad. This one's got, this one's really good. Uh-oh. That's the other thing about circuit bent stuff. It's wonderfully unpredictable. Yeah. When I think the battery's dying, but it's still a pretty good instrument. It's an LFO. I know, it's very likable. Different places on the and then there's a photo cell down here and a strobe light. Awesome. Um, but the 
todos los... So if you only needed five notes, it's a great uh, trigger. I think this one, I think this one will work. This one I used on the album.